that was a game where so many of us wanted to see the youngsters come in. But it was a night which was dominated by the oldies, I suppose you can say that. Cristiano Ronaldo with one of his best performances of the season, if not the best performance of the season. Absolutely indomitable from Ronaldo. 37 years old. He won't cut it under Eric Ten Hag. Watch that game again and tell me that he can't work under Eric Ten Hag. It's nice to watch a United game, come here for a match reaction and not be pissed off. That's the first thing I would say from that game. Second thing I would say from that game, I would say well done to everyone who walked out in the 73rd minute. The protest that happened before the game, the third game in succession. Keep doing what you're doing. This is not the sort of situation where you try and poke fun at some United fans for trying to do something. Just get behind all of it and support all of it. And I will. That's what I always do. But back to the game and back to that man. Wow. Wow. Cristiano Ronaldo, man. I saw him play tonight. I saw him at like number nine. I saw him number 10. I saw him on the left wing. I saw him on the right wing. I saw him in his own half. I saw him tracking defenders. I saw him instructing everybody to press up with him. Ronaldo was absolutely unstoppable there tonight. An incredible performance from a man who, to me, it looked like it looked like he was like an aggressive performance, like he was pissed off. And for me, I think looking at that, that's Ronaldo going, right, I'm three goals away from getting 20 league goals for the season. If I'm not going to end this season with any sort of team accolades. I want personal accolades. He's now two goals off finishing for the 12th consecutive season at top level football with 20 plus league goals. And you wouldn't back him not to do it off the back of that performance. But it wasn't just Ronaldo who played well tonight. Ronaldo, easily the man of the match. But there really were some standout players. <laughs> Ronaldo again. I thought Anthony Alanga, for that first goal, man, that first goal that was... You haven't seen that enough from Manchester United this season, have you? Seeing a player... So Ilanga sort of dropped a little bit deep and just ran in behind, twisted and turned. Delo with a lovely ball over the top. Ilanga first time cross across the box. Bruno Fernandes, bang. 1-0. Great goal from United. Very, very simple. It required two passes and runs from two players. But United just typically this season, we haven't been active enough. We haven't been moving enough. We haven't been dynamic enough as a team. We could have created that chance so many times this season. So many times. But we just hadn't been on it enough. Now, of course, Ronaldo did score in the first half. And it was, would have been a lovely assist to send off this man. Uh, but it was offside for Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, a quick word on Juan Mata and a quick word on Nemanja Matic. You know, tonight really did have a bit of a testimonial feel about it. And United did play some exhibition stuff. It was, as I said, it's nice to come away from that, from watching an United game, not just full of anger and full of, oh, there you go. Well, you've lived up to my expectations. Tonight we actually play. I find it kind of weird. I genuinely think two of the, Best pressing team performances under Rand. It came in his first and his last games in charge at Old Trafford against Crystal Palace and Brentford. It doesn't really make any sense. What happened in between? But why matter, man? Old Trafford gave him a stand innovation and they gave Nemanja Matic a stand innovation as well. Fair play to both of them. Matter in particular, I would love to see him back at the club in some sort of ambassadorial role. I think he's been... I mean, it's a shame we didn't sign him a couple of years earlier but he's still been a very decent signing for United. I wouldn't put him down. There's so many more uh, other signings that I would put down as failures ahead of one matter. But yeah, just that collective there from the team today. It was good. It, 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 it makes me angry because I'm saying, why didn't he do that against Leicester, Everton, Liverpool, Arsenal, Chelsea? Why is it taken to now against Brentford in what is effectively a dead rubber game for you to go, you know what? We can actually play football. And that performance there... I know it's against Brentford, but do you not remember the Brentford game away from home in that first half? We got absolutely played off the park. There's a reason Brentford are surviving this season. They're a decent Premier League team. So don't just write them off because they're not a City or a Liverpool. United played well today. And it, for me, it goes to show exactly what I mean when I say this team, with a better coach, this team will play better without any new signings. There's no doubt that this team will be better simply because Eric Ten Hag is our manager next season. And I really am intrigued to see what happens with Cristiano Ronaldo because Eric Ten Hag must be rubbing his hands together. He's going from Sebastian Haller to Cristiano Ronaldo, who's now on 24 goals, I think, in all competitions for United this season. And as he showed today and as he has shown in the last few games, he's upped his professionalism to this Ronaldo tier that only Ronaldo has Incredible from him. He's really taken himself up a few notches. 
and showing that even when the backs are against the wall, that he's the sort of man that you can rely on for goals and goals and goals. Penalty today, just offside. That would have been two. Oh, is he like nine out of the last 10, 11 United goals he's got now? I think only Varane and Bruno and Fred. Other than that, it's been him. Varane scoring from a corner. Varane today, by the way. Mm, 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 mm. Varane was a bit flawless today. Got a goal. Loved that. Loved that. That was the sort of Varane that I wanted to see United. Just kind of made it look easy. Not really much to talk about. Never found himself in a difficult position. Brentford didn't have that many opportunities. By the way, how good were Christian, uh, Christian Eriksen's crosses? Unbelievable. That guy's got a delivery on him. He's definitely going to move to a different club. But Brentford, if you can hold on to him, you definitely want to. But I'm just kind of, I want to keep waxing lyrical about this man because he just, he seems to keep defying expectations. And what he's shown in the last like four to five games very much earlier in the season, whenever Ronaldo dropped a little bit deeper, he just kind of cut a frustrated figure. A really frustrated figure. The only reason he would drop deep is because nobody was getting the ball up to him and the only way he was ever going to get possession of the ball. But now in these games, he's sort of dropping deep, doing a quick one-two and then turning the shoulder and like, like Elanga's run for the first goal. Ronaldo's been doing that. My God, he's leading. He is leading by example. And there's... We can't build a team around Ronaldo for the next few years. Absolutely not. But once we, if we've still got the crown jewel, we have to maximise what we can get out of him. And I think we will. And I think Eric Ten Hag will absolutely love to manage him. But yeah, it, it was as I said, it, it was a night where so many of us wanted to see the likes of Alejandro Garnacho play. But given that he played against uh, Liverpool's under-23s on Saturday, I think it was. Same with Alvaro Fernandez. Maybe it wasn't the game for that. Will we see them against... Uh, Brighton on Saturday, will we see them at Crystal, Crystal Palace away to end the season? I suppose we'll find out. But I'm just happy to come away from a United game like Juan Mata there, with a big smile on my face. 3-0 winners, testimonial feel. Ronaldo, he's 37, but I, I mean, what else can you say about Ronaldo that hasn't already been said? So many just... he. The fuel to his career is people writing him off. It's the energy that he feeds on. And he keeps delivering. And, and just when you think he's past it, oh, no, his legs like he's slow it. He just finds a different gear in his game. And I really genuinely cannot wait to see how Eric Ten Hag can maximise that inside this new look United system. Because as I said there today, we play like a team. Really nice one-touch football for a lot of it. Uh, good movements, playing short triangles. United pressed as a team. They moved as a team. There was runs in behind. Delow and Tellez, defensively, still causing issues. Brentford in, what, in behind after like nine seconds. Yap Stam in the crowd tonight. I think he's probably watching this defending going, Ooh. but he actually saw a clean sheet tonight. And that is a complete rarity. But there's absolutely no doubt in my man. My man. My man. My man. I'm losing my mind. There's no doubt in my mind that Cristiano Ronaldo is man of the match there. He's player of the season, and it's not even really close. David De Gea, you're not going to win it this time. And I say that's always a mark of... I say it's been a crap season anyway, but it's always a mark of a bad season when David De Gea wins our player of the year. Ronaldo winning it doesn't make it a good season by any stretch of the imagination. But look, Ilanga, definitely one of the brightest sparks of this season, and tonight he showed it again. Really dynamic with the ball at his feet. Really confident. He ran at Brentford's defenders. Last bit of dribbling that he showed... That's one thing that Ralph Rannick definitely deserves credit for. He's not just giving a, a debut to anybody and just, you know, like a Tyler Blackett or a Paddy McNair debut or Donald Love. It's a debut that's flourished into the beginnings of hopefully a fantastic career for Manchester United. And yeah, well done to Juan Mata. Well done to Nemanja Matic. It was a game where so many of us expected and hoped to see youngsters, but it was a game where ultimately we're waving goodbye to what hasn't worked for United. Nemanja Matic, Juan Mata, Edinson Cavani. Hopefully Phil Jones, Jesse Lingard, Paul Pogba. The final time any of them are going to be seen inside Old Trafford as a Manchester United player. That really was sort of like the changing of the guard that game. And it's a nice way to go out, I suppose. 3-0 winners, very comfortable, nice football. Ronaldo, incredible. I can't wait to see him under Eric Ten Hag. But what's your reaction to that in the, in, in the comments? Let me know in the comments. And as I said, it's just nice to come away from a United game and not just be full of scorn. Because I'm bored of it. A couple of games before the end of the season. It's nice to get that. It felt like a testimonial. And I suppose it effectively was. For Matic, for Mata, and everyone else leaving. But Ronaldo, 
He's not finished yet. He's absolutely not finished. He looks so aggressive and so, so good. 